What's up guys, you here with Josh Bailey. Welcome to my channel, you're returning viewer, welcome back. We're back in the kitchen. Like I told you, I'm gonna keep showing you how I eat and stay lean 24 7, 365. Today, I'm gonna show you how I eat breakfast or you can say slash pre-workout, which I do. Like I work out early in the morning, so it's always kind of like my breakfast slash pre-workout. So, let's get it going. I want you guys to see how I do my eggs, because I see like some guys just like just adding so many extra calories and fat just from putting whole eggs in there. You don't do whole eggs. I use one whole egg, all right? That's just one. The rest of these are egg whites, which makes it even easier. You just buy egg whites, but for some reason I just like buying an actual egg. All right, so we're gonna go with five egg whites and one yolk. All right, six eggs in total. If the carton's low, I'll go for a little bit more. Or if I'm trying to get a little bit more protein, then I might go for seven to eight. Simple, easy. Just like that. Eggs is probably like the first thing that you can eat in the morning that's like pure protein. All right. But eggs really don't take that long. So you can literally make eggs within like five minutes. All right. Boom. Now today, I'm gonna make an omelet. When I do have time, I make omelets. When I don't have time, I simply scramble it and just and just go. All right, so we're gonna, put, we're gonna put a little bit of effort in this today. So if you have time before you leave, or if you have a weekend day that you wanna make something good, try this omelet right here. You know what I also hate when people like, like just beat the eggs too much? Like you ever hear your brother or sibling just for a long time? <laughs> Yeah, my brother used to do that, he used to drive me nuts. So I make sure I don't even hit the uh, hit the glass too much. Can't even hear it. All right, Bang, let that heat up for a second. We're gonna add some salt and pepper. Um, I don't have my Himalayan salt, but here's the thing about the salt, all right? The less, the better. So what you do is put a little bit in your hand. I don't just go pour it up in there. See how much you're getting. All right, here we go. Let those eggs sit. Put on a little bit of low temperature heat, all right? We're not in a rush today. Boom. What I combo with my eggs depends on how I want to feel that day. If I want to feel light on my stomach, I'm going with some yogurt, okay? I'm gonna show you how I do all of it, but this is why I have everything out. Also, which also helps me like go for a longer workout where I need like good energy, I'm going with a cup of oats, all right? Old fashioned oats traditional style. All right, the other ones get mushy and they just taste like, like baby food. And the other one is my shake. The thing I like about the shake so much, is so many nutrients I get, all my antioxidants, I get the berries, which I, like adds up to a little bit more calories, but trust me, that kind of stuff burns off throughout the day as you go forward. Let's start with the oats. All right, here we go. You guys don't know anything about oatmeal, right? It's not gonna ever make you like fat, okay? It's a complex carbohydrate, whole grain carb, all right? This is actually probably one of the best carbs, and I give you about five carbs that I take in on a daily basis, and this is probably like number one. Let me tell you why, all right? 27 grams of carbs, all right? Fiber, this is good for fiber, so you're gonna get the food in you, it's gonna help you like stay full for a little bit, but it's also gonna help you use the restroom, okay? Digestion is important. So two versus one, all right? Two cups of water, one cup of oats. Boom. A little bit of cheese, eggs won't hurt, as long as you don't overdo it. Right. Just a little sprinkle, just what it takes. Yeah. All right, and you know what? You can multitask, because this water gotta boil, and this has to go. So. We gonna get started on my yogurt piece. So this yogurt, if you guys are eating yogurt, you wanna get plain yogurt. Plain yogurt doesn't have the excess sugar. Over time, if you eat the same stuff that has sugar, sodium, every single day, it adds up. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're over here like slippery. This is how I usually do it. Boom, tablespoon, one, Two, three, and four. 
very light right there. Number two ingredient to my yogurt. Gotta have granola. I mean, this is like one of my top five favorite things to eat. This can go for a snack at the same time. Oh. A little granola, I didn't even measure it. I just know how much I should and should not eat. All right guys, quick tip. When you do oats, once you put the oats in, turn the heat down, let it simmer. All right, you don't want super hot because it's just gonna come all the way up and then just fall all, all, all over the place to make a mess. You don't want that. All right, so oats are done. Let that do the thing. Check on this egg. If you guys are not good at making omelets, the first key to making an omelet is cooking it on a lower heat. Why? Because when you flip it, you don't want to just look burnt. Then you have to pick which side you want to serve. So, well, right here, as you can see, if you can look over here, it's getting a little brown, almost ready. I'll give it about another 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and flip this thing. It should move a little bit. I got a little cheese on there. One, two, three. Woo! Safe landing. A little mess. But, came out like I wanted. Let's go back to my yogurt. Where's my cutting board? All right, we need something small for the day. Make sure you wash off your strawberries. You ever go to the grocery store and then just like, take the grapes and just eat them? So good, but so nasty. Yeah, so good. <laughs> <laughs> you want your strawberries to be sweet? All right, if your strawberries aren't sweet, then it doesn't make this as tasty. Maybe like that parfait vibe. All right, almost done. What I put in my oats is actually just a little bit of sugar. I simply only put this. I used to do like. Blueberries, uh, almonds. That was, that was said a little bit of sugar, but it was like. <laughs> that's all, that's all good. That's all good. Put a little top on that, and we'll put it on a little heat. Get that egg. I, I like my eggs kind of, what you would say, almost well done. I don't really like soft eggs, so. A little bit brown on that side, and I'm ready to go. I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil in this pan, and I'm gonna cook my spinach. And spinach, I never measure. I go with a straight handful for everything. Maybe I'll do two, so. Alright guys, can you believe we're almost halfway done with breakfast? Don't take no time, alright? Oh, doing fine. When you put the top on it, give it a little bit of moisture. Let the oats, let the oats soak and not come out like mushy, okay? So we're gonna go just for a few more minutes. I'm gonna throw some blueberries on there just for aesthetic purposes today. But blueberries is, if you guys didn't know, I read this recently, it's like one of the best brain foods. So you don't even have to go, you guys go with only macros where you were trying to hit this. I actually think of the benefits of the food, okay? There's some almonds, I'm gonna put a little bit of syrup in there. Either. Just don't add too much. All right, it's gonna add a lot of carbs and sugar. Boom, a little sweetener there. Here we go. I don't like my eggs soggy. I'm a very picky eater. I don't like my food to touch. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take that back. I don't, I'm not a picky eater. I just don't want my food to touch. Like, I don't want my oatmeal really on top of my eggs. You know, I don't want my, I don't want my yogurt on my oatmeal. Like that's just, that's just nasty. Now, oh. see that? Nothing runny, nothing soft, but like I said, all preference. For me, these oats are done. Not too soft. All I'm gonna do is take it off the heat so it won't cook, leave the top on it, and it's gonna stay moist. But not get too soft. Boom, done. Let me up. I should turn it off. Gonna catch a fire. <laughs> Cheers. God, Lee. about to choke? No, you'll be okay. It's an espresso. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
Don't tell me like that. Oh, it's fire. No. Cut the oats came out just like I wanted it. Alright, dressing up. Here we go. Alright. If you don't know how to cut avocado, make sure it's a little bit soft. Alright, boom. Sweep it through the middle. Now, simply twist. Alright, just that easy. The lines, like the lines, just do it for me. And get it up out of there. Oops, a little. Don't want to eat that. Might have some health benefits to it, but I'm not going to find out today. You saw that farm, you saw that forearm workout I had last video. If you haven't seen that video, click back. All right, click back. You can watch that, another meal prep idea. Boom. Forearms looking juicy. I'm looking juicy. This, this thing right here is looking kind of <laughs> crazy. It's looking a little out of control over here. And guys, this, I just wanna let you know, this is the no time rush omelet, okay? You getting the time rush, you're not making it. You just eat the egg and go. Boom. Got that there. And let's finish off. All we gotta do now is make the shit. Oh, I'm just delicious. What is mine? <laughs> she always trying to eat my food, bro. I want the yogurt. <laughs> Brady, want, Brady wants the omelet. Yeah. You can have the oatmeal. <laughs> Here goes the shake. These bananas are a little bit smaller than, uh, than I want. You know what I actually do have? Frozen ones. Forget about that. I save these, I haven't even used them for myself. Oh, oh. all right, there we go. You know what, I think I have frozen. Got to be frozen strawberry. We're doing everything frozen. Actually, I would rather have everything frozen than I don't have to add ice. So, that's not bad, there we go. Got two blueberries that I'm gonna just have to go. Finish. Still got the handful. We're gonna go with the unsweetened almond milk. No, I don't measure. I go for about a fourth. All right, you can always add it if you want. Let's go to sir. All right, it's gonna make your smoothie taste way better. And then also, like let's say if you only, only can get the shape, you still get that protein in. All right, go for about a scoop. Go for about a scoop if I have eggs. If I don't have eggs, we're gonna add maybe a scoop and a half, maybe two. All right. That cashew. All right, Mama, you guys are eating peanut butter. I just wanna show you, I don't actually have a bad peanut butter in my pantry, but you wanna go for peanut butter that has like three ingredients. Okay, it's only have peanuts, a little bit of oil and some salt. Okay, if it has like hydrogenated vegetable oils and high fructose corn syrup, you just you just throwing in poison. All right, let's not do that. Let's keep it clean. Facts. Also, if you're trying to lean down a little bit, don't do peanut butter. I do less peanut butter, but it won't hurt too much. Ah, if you haven't had cashew butter, strawberry. Jelly, a sandwich. I'm missing out on my life. Out. Oh my god. <laughs> Get these out the way. It's filling the shine for this smoothie. Oh. Boom. Boom. And that's it. So, guys, protein is vegan pro. My first form, all right? This is what I use because I personally don't take in that much dairy, but this is my favorite. All right, you go with chocolate or the vanilla cream, they both hit like with any shape. That's my protein source, and the smoothie is ready to go. Mm. every time. Guys, you can, you can like combo these any way you want. You can go with these two, you can go here, or you can go here. This is how you break the fast and start the day. Everything looks good, everything tastes good. Guys, you see how I get down in the kitchen, you see what I eat almost every single day. If you have any questions, feedback, or things that you want me to show you, add a comment below. And also, 
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. Mm. Is it good? Yeah. <laughs>